What is up, you missed Valior here, bringing you another video. Welcome back to RuneScape. I have another treasure hunter thingy to do. These things look pretty cool, though. I would love the pet. Obviously, I'm never going to get it, but still. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I might I might just take the oddments, that's fine. There's an oddment store, okay, oh. I could get pets through the oddment store at some point, that would be nice. Oh, I can get the free, yeah, I forgot about that. I can get the free one. Felix can follow me around. Go away. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I got the kitty. I can talk to him. Greetings. Have I not introduced myself yet? I am the one and only Felix. Felix, the world famous adventurer. Please spare your praise. It's not necessary, really. Nice to meet you, Felix. I'm ADHD Elemental P. To be honest, I can't say I've heard of you before. What? Well, you're in luck, my friend. Now you can experience the tales of my daring escapades for the first time. Few have this privilege, and fewer still have the privilege of being the prodigious Felix's sidekick. You are truly blessed. Sidekick? It may sound like a difficult job, but don't be alarmed. If Felix the Wise thinks you show promise, you must indeed be special. Now let's get started for adventure. That's funny. Uh, can I ask him to perform the emote? Oh. That's the emote? Okay. Do it again. I love it. Okay. Choose a path to Lumbridge. Travel to the welcoming town of Lumbridge in the kingdom of Miss Thalen. Miss Thalen? I don't know how you actually pronounce that, but... Take the boat on the south docks of Taverley to Lumbridge. Okay. Oh, it's over here. Boat to Lumbridge. I didn't even know there was a boat to Lumbridge, to be honest. Activate the Lodestone in Lumbridge. Sure. Yeah, I got the Dorvan Army Axe already. Okay, nice. Dorvan Army Axe functions as a steel hatchet. When woodcutting normal trees, you can get a wooden knot, and when mining copper or tin, a lapis lazuli gem, which you can craft into a lapis lazuli brooch. It also gives you plus 3 XP when mining copper and tin, crafting soft leather and clay, cooking, hunting crimson swifts, and polar kebits, woodcutting and fire making normal and oak logs, and attaching bronze arrowheads. Oh, okay. Introduction to the archaeology skill. That's a thing. I didn't even know that was a thing in free, free to play. Okay. Bossing. There's 47 steps in that. What the heck? Uh huh. I, I thought the Lumbridge one would be, oh, you know, go to do Cook's assistant or something. But I guess not yet. Uh, construction. Yeah, let's do construction first. Buy a house of your own. Oh, I don't think I can. I don't have the money to buy a house of my own yet. Wait, 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 wait. Where does it actually want me to go? That's where I thought. Okay. So, I'll unlock the drainer lodestone and the port. 
lodestone. Um, that'll be good. Also, why is... Do I have to zoom out? Did they forget to add names? Jagex? Why is there no names on any of the cities? I know the names of them, but new players don't. I'm turning everything on. There's no names. Why is there no names? There's names for the for the members. Uh oh. El Carid, not here. Lumbridge, not here. Port Serim, not here. Falador, not here. Taverly and Berthorp, not here. Varrock, not here. Edgeville, not here. What the hell? Ah, uh, Wilderness, not named either. Jagex, what? <laughs> what is going on? Why is there no names? Players aren't gonna know what you're talking about when you tell them to go go to Varrock or something. They're oh my god. Okay. Yep, that's that's great. Oh, okay. Let's go unlock the other lodestones. On the way there anyway. Oh a bowl. Heck yeah, there we go. That's enough to buy a house, right? Those bowls are worth some money. Uh, can I get anything free in the general store? I don't remember. I can! Oh, and I, I just got an achievement. I'll get all the free stuff. And then I'll sell it. What about in the fishing shop? Hank. Free. Heck yeah. Feathers I can't really get right now. But buying feathers and selling them gives a little tiny bit of money. What, Ruby? What do you want? She's crying. I don't know if you can hear her behind me. Yeah. He wants petting. Does that mean there's an introduction to necromancy? Because I didn't even think about that. Activated Draenor. Nice. Cool. What is this? Why is it telling me to go to the underworld? Uh-huh. Path objective is here. Why did it just switch to the underworld? That's... Jagex is broken. Okay, now it's fixed. What the heck? That's a little bit weird. Port Serim. Why did it just change my camera angle? Serim, Serim, however you want to pronounce it. Everybody pronounces things different on RuneScape. You will know that firsthand just watching uh, players or listening to players uh, pronounce things. Uh, including Jagex, actually. There's some Jagex moderators that'll pronounce certain names in RuneScape differently. That's pretty funny. Talk. Do you need construction help? Yes. Tell me how I can get my own house. See? 
there were these wizards, right? And they needed more living space. So they figured out a way of making it so that stuff doesn't take up any room. I don't really understand it myself, but now everyone can have their own two acres and it's all easily accessible right here. I cannot hear you at all. What is going on with the voice acting? Yeah, somewhere to hang your hat. Your roots, your castle, a home of your own. Find a magical house right here in town. It will see you back a mere 1,000 coins. You can always move the portal somewhere else later if you want to. 1,000 coins I need, of course. Uh, yeah, the music might be a little high, but his the voice acting should be higher. So I don't get it. Because I didn't want to drown out the music because, you know, the, the music is amazing in RuneScape. Okay, I need to get some money quick. So I get oh I was being attacked. I guess I'm making my way to Varok first and sell some of my excess gear that I have. What Ruby? What do you want? What? She's crying a lot. And I got a kitty in the game now, too. This kitty hasn't meowed yet, though. We are in Falador. Very beautiful place. Activated. Great. Oh, I'm going to be attacked again. Oh, gosh. He stabbed me. Oh, my... My, um... Running is... Is, is out. My energy level's out. It is gone. Dang it. Yeah, I can rest. I know. It goes up pretty fast, but not that fast. Wasn't there a resting one in, in here somewhere? I guess not. I thought there was. Like someone to sit down and listen to. Uh, oh, over by the... Okay. Oh, well. There's someone over here I can listen to. Listen. There we go. That boosts it very fast by comparison. But the higher your agility level, the faster your energy will replenish. I am at the Grand Exchange where you can buy and sell all of your junk. Excuse me, sir, but may I ask you to speak to Brugson Burson? or the Grand Exchange Tour near the exchange entrance for a lesson. Bergson will give an interesting, complete lesson on the Grand Exchange, and the tutor will give a smaller, plain lesson. Okay. Dang it. <clears throat> can you teach me about the Grand Exchange? I most certainly can, but you'll get a more complete and entertaining information if you speak with Ber Brugson Burson, who is standing by my side, entertaining. Okay, sure. I'll do, I'll do that one. Oh, that's not Brugson. Where's Brugson? You said Brugson was standing next to you. Oh, he's not standing by your side. He's all the way over here. What is this place? 
Well, this is a the fantastic grand exchange. I am only too happy to help teach you everything you could possibly want to know. The tutor nearby can give a brief introduction too, but he's not as fun as me. Everything to know from you. Ha ha ha, it would be my absolute pleasure. The Grand Exchange. Welcome, my friend, to the Grand Exchange. From here, you can tell us what you want to buy or sell, and for how much, and we'll pair you with other players to make the trade. Let me start by telling you how to buy and sell items. The procedures for both are quite similar and can be explained in four simple steps. Step 1. You come here with items to sell or money to spend. Speak with one of the clerks at the desks in the corners of the building and ask to access the Grand Exchange. This is the summary screen. It contains a list of all your offers. You can make several offers simultaneously, one in each box. Each offer box has two buttons. This is one for offering to buy items, and this is one for offering to sell items. If you selected the buy option, you will get this, you will see this screen. You can look for an item to buy by using the search box here. You can set how many you wish to buy and the price you're willing to pay before clicking the confirm offer button. We'll suggest a price for the item, but you can offer whatever you like. Now the offer is placed. You can return to the Grand Exchange at any time to check on the progress of your offers. Selling items is very similar. You'll be able to select items from your inventory to sell them. Step 3. The clerks take the items or money off of you and start looking for someone to complete the trade. Once your offer is running, just wait. The trade could be very quick or might take several days. Step 4. When the trade is complete, we will send you a message. You can collect your stuff by talking to the clerks or by visiting any banker. To see costs of commonly traded items, you can talk to the characters around the building. The clerks keep a record of your recent transactions. Speak to them if you want to see that record. There's a lot to learn, but now you're free to use the Grand Exchange. Come and speak to me if you ever want to repeat this tutorial or you have other questions. Okay, perfect. <coughs> Whoops, that's, that should be. Oh, our electric is flashing. I hope that doesn't cut the power. Or the internet. Because that'll be a quick video then, yay. Uh-huh. I'll keep these for now, I guess. Why not? Let's see, what can I sell? Oh yeah, I'll I'll take the rabbit sandwiches. You got a lot of stuff to sell. That's good. Let's see what how much money I make. I'll do a, I'll do quick sells by dropping the price. Damn! Holy crap! People want rabbit sandwiches. Dang it! I'm just trying to see what'll quickly sell, and then I'll put stuff back. To sell while I'm not here. Come on, pay a lot of money for those bowls, please. Yay, look at that. I can buy a house already. Cool. I guess I could have cooked those chickens, but it's too late now. Damn. It's a lot of money for chicken. Okay, 24,000, ooh, very nice, hell yeah, 32,000, 
One potato, two potato, three potato, more. Yeah, hell yeah, look at this money I'm making, damn. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's try to sell shrimp. Cooked rabbit. Oh, they don't want it for 80 coins. But that's a steal. Bronze dagger. No, they don't want bronze dagger either. Okay. Offhand bronze mace. How about that? Ooh, they did want that. Okay. Let's, let's try that. And we'll try one, two, four to seven. There you go. And finally, okay, we'll leave that for now. I definitely have the money. Let's go to Port Serim and buy my house. Why is that showing as a one? Lumbridge. Oh, okay. Because I completed a task. You need construction help. Yes. See, uh, well, these words, really You've said this already. Bye. Right. Go on through that big purple portal over there. Start adding rooms to the house. Actually, I'll have a guidebook about it here somewhere. I got a guidebook. This is just a tutorial guidebook, so I won't read that. I'll only read like lore books. Get the plank maker in Remington to saw logs in the planks. Okay. Want me to make some planks for you? Yes. Well, I don't have anything. I need construction supplies. Don't have anything either. Okay, so I gotta cut down some trees quick. I leveled up. Nice. Oh shoot, I'm still cutting with a bronze axe. I need to do some mining and smithing. But I haven't done a single quest yet. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do first. Five planks is good for now. Come on. Five planks is good for now, come on. Thank you. All five. Boom. Visit the house in building mode. Okay. Oh, my pet can't come with me. Okay. That's a little weird. Build an item of furniture in your house, such as a crude chair. I don't think I have nails. Don't I need nails? Yeah, I do. I don't have any nails. Oh my god. Why didn't it tell me to buy nails? I mean, I knew I needed to, but I'm confused why it didn't tell me I need to. I should have made nails. Dang. How much, how much are these sold for? 18. Okay. I'm gonna buy them all. Then I'll sell what I don't use.
I did it. Remove an item of furniture that you have built in your house. Oh, good. I lose the chair already, dang. Build a plant in the garden of your house. Oh, boy. I need a bagged plant now from him. Okay. There you go. One bag plant for a thousand coins. That's insane. Oh. Oh, I can sell it for two thousand coins though, almost. Hold on. Let me get him to make one more plank. That way I can at least make two more chairs. You need a watering can with water in it to plant. What? Oh my gosh. Why didn't it tell me this? That's why he sells a watering can. Okay. Interesting. Here, I'll put a plant here instead. Yay! Leveled up. Build a rug or curtain in the parlor of your house. Let me guess. I need a bolt of cloth. Two. Yep. That's, yep. Of course. How many times I got a leaf? Leaf. I'm glad I made more than just a thousand coins, because I wouldn't have had it. Yay! Build a room in your house, such as a kitchen. Oh. Okay. I need to be level five. Oh boy, okay. Guess I'm leveling up my construction. Yay, level three, okay. Okay, I can make some curtains too. Ooh, curtains require planks, nails, and cloth. Dang. Six. Oh, if just to get two curtains, I would need six of each. Wow. Okay. Well, I gotta do something. I need one more chair, too. <clears throat> I wish I had a better hatchet. I, I, sh I should have tried to make some, but... I don't know how much mining and smithing everybody wants to see. But maybe. Maybe you'd want to. I don't know. Ow! Really? Go away. Glad I go everywhere in full armor. Oh, I just got an achievement kill a highwayman. Oh, he dropped his cape. Nice. Doesn't even give anything. I will bury his bones. Okay, I got four. coming back. Oh no. Five. Six. 
six. I'm gonna go for eight. I'll make one more chair and then two curtains. I should be good. Yay! Fourteen. Cool. There we go. Okay. Like I said, I'm really glad that I sold more stuff so that I actually could do this. Okay. So I need six bolts of cloth. And another nail. Just, oh. Building mode. There we go. Build the last chair. That should get me to level four, probably. I'm not sure. Yep. Okay. Let's build some raggedy ass curtains. I keep bending the nails. Oh, nice. Oh, I only needed it once. Oh, and it makes curtains all the way around. Okay. Now I can make a kitchen. 5,000 coins. Damn. Oh, uh, that's fine. Why is it flashing? Jagex. Yay, I got 10 free planks. Cool. I did it. Ooh, level five construction is one of the requirements, eyes of Glorophine, one of the requirements, pearls of the mountain, one of the requirements, darkness of hollow veil. I now can build a fire pit, wooden book bookcase, decorative rock, dead tree, cat blanket, and start room photo booth in Damonheim. Oh, okay. Cool. Construction tutorial completed. I have extra construction stuff at the moment. How much are these? Not much profit at all. Okay. You know what? I didn't I didn't do the Varrock lodestone. Dang it! Now I gotta run all the way back. <laughs> well, I started my house the is going to be abandoned for most of the time. Because there's not much use for a house anymore, sadly. Not until they do a construction rework. No necromancy quest. What are you doing? I believe I can get to the lodestone this way. What are these weird white lines on the map? That's strange. That's very strange. Why is it... Okay. Lodestone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got the Varrock Lodestone. Good. That one's a very important one. For quite a while. Until I have like a ring of wealth or something whenever I am in a member's world. I'm just going to sell my excess stuff. I'll probably have made a profit, actually, just by buying all those nails. Let's put it down by one cent. Nothing? Dang. I was hoping. How much are planks? Really? 458. And it only costs 100 to actually make them. Okay. Nobody wants the daggers. Okay. Because for now, planks are, are pretty worthless for me on a free-to-play world. Dang. Really? Okay, I'm not going to keep it at that price. I'm going to up it a little bit. Ooh, what the hell? 
That way when I log out or whatever, it'll probably be sold by the time I come back on. What about the cape? Does anyone want the cape? Yeah, they do. Okay. And bolts of cloth, I don't want to sell too much lower because I bought them for six fifty. I don't want to lose money. Okay, not yet. That's fine for for now. Uh, watering can I'll keep. That uh, will have to go there. Oh, they just sold ten planks immediately. Okay. Well, you know, before I go... Let's do a little bit of mining. That's how I'll end the video. A little bit of extra mining so I can get some more tools. Better tools, you know? <clears throat> It says it gives an extra 3 XP per thing or whatever when I'm mining, so why not? Oh, I should have went to Berthrop. It's a little bit faster to get here, isn't it? Oh well. Shoot, I didn't even get my ore thingy. Oh well. That's fine. Probably. Let's see how fast I can get an inventory of each. Better copper and tin rock opportunities. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Tools. Yeah, iron pickaxe is level 10. Okay. But I need to be able to make one. Oh, I got an uncut lapis lazuli. Cut and polish this using a chisel on your army axe. Okay. Where is it? I heard it. Oh. Someone dropped one? Eh, why not? It's free. There you go, level seven. It feels like it takes forever, even though it really doesn't. Here, let's cut these. That's, that's fine. I, I don't care about them. Can't even sell them anyway, so. Mining faster now. Almost level eight. Yeah. What is that now? Mining and copper tin storage in the ore box. Higher critical swing against them. Higher chance of finding geodes. Oh, okay. I'm not going to open any of the geodes right now. Almost got um, And then I gotta come back in for some tin. And then hopefully my smithing will at least be level 10 so I can make iron stuff. I want to make an iron pickaxe and an iron uh, hatchet and iron ore box. And then I'll end the video. That way I have some regular um, tutorial stuff in the video and regular skilling stuff in the video at the same time. Why not?
deposit. How much? Yeah, there's 27 and then 0, 10. Okay. Now this one should be faster than the copper did because I leveled up several times. 5% better critical swings. Very nice. Yeah, look at how fast. How much are these? 470 each. Dang. Pretty good. You can make a small profit doing this as free to player. Unless too many people do it, then you're probably not, but it's something. I'm gonna level up to 10. I'll be able to use an iron. Yeah, mining level 10. Iron ore, limestone, blurite ore, iron pickaxe, and then Damonheim stuff. Cool. Very nice. Another lapis lazuli. It just says you recover a lapis lazuli gemstone from the ore. Extra XP. Yay. Dang, now I'm getting a lot of them. I don't really want that many. That's just... It does give good crafting XP. That's good. But I don't want it. Yay! Yay! Extra money! Extra uh, money? What? Extra XP, extra levels. Total level is now 143 now. Cool. Pie dish, gold bracelet. Okay. 5% better critical swings again. Nice. Oh, almost full. Gotta cut these up now. Yeah, I know. Thank you for letting me know. I can see. Another one? Oh my gosh. Go away. Yay, level up. There we go. Okay. I can now make a bowl, a gold amulet, clockwork mechanism, and Damonheim stuff. Higher critical swing against iron rocks, higher chance of finding geodes while mining iron rocks. Okay. Awesome. Please tell me I have enough for five levels of smithing. Please. Smelt. Only one XP per bar, though. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculousness. City of Hell has net level 99 in all skill. Damn. 12 more. What is that sound effect? That sounds weird. Okay, good. I'm thinking... Seven hundred and fifty gold for that. One thousand three hundred and fifty gold for that. I feel like I should do bronze arrowheads so that I could level up my fletching too when I get uh, arrows and stuff. 
I mean, feathers. Let's just do it. Why not? Let's make five of them for now. Also, it looks like I'd make some good money if I sold it, too. I don't know. We'll see. Level up! Okay. I'm going to make more bronze arrowheads. Why not? Now I can make make it at maximum heat immediately. That's amazing. I have a lot of bronze bars. I hope this is enough. I hate that you can only do one at a time. They really need to allow you to do more than one at a time. That feels really dumb. But maybe it's just to prevent mass production of stuff again. I don't know. But if you're making arrowhead, I don't know. Maybe the price would go down if they had it where it's more than one at a time. I, I have no idea. I'm just trying to think. It's a little annoying to have to keep clicking over and over and over and over and over. Let's see what a full inventory gives me. What I unlock? Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Let's see. I'm at level six. Can I look at the map while I'm doing this? No, it went away. Okay, iron is there, I was right. Okay. Yeah, level 7. Heat bronze 66% faster, okay. I might actually sell the arrowheads at this point, I'm not sure. That'll be a lot of money. I can do it faster now. Smith bronze 10% faster. Okay. Cool. It is going a little faster, I can tell. Just a tiny bit faster, but it's enough. One more level to go. Ooh, extra chance at a bar. Cool.
Do I have enough to finish leveling up? That's the question. Because I'm actually not sure. When smelting bronze, you have a chance to make extra bars. Cool. Ooh, I might need like one more bar or something. That's so weird. Put your backs into it, someone said. <laughs> Damn it. I need like one or two bars. Yep. That's great. Okay, if I have to. Okay, there's two. There's two. Good. <clears throat> okay. Turn them into bars. Good. Why does it say bronze full helm? What the hell? One more. Come on, that should be enough, right? Please. Please. Are you freaking kidding me? I need one. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. It's a lot of money, huh? There are ten coins each, so yeah, some decent money. A little bit. Okay, one. One. Leveled up. Amazing. Smelt it. Oh, I got an extra bar. Nice. Sure, make make the extra one then. There you go. Level 10, finally. Yeah, I felt like it took longer than it should have. Let's go to Varrock. Get my iron. I have a lapis lazuli in my lap. Is that a lapis lazuli in your lap or are you just happy to see me? Now I need to mine two of these. Of course it's going to take lower because I don't have an iron pickaxe yet. Nice. Got one. One more. Come on. I'll just... Just because of the four. It'll give me an extra. Why not? Even though it's slower, that I can go, make my pickaxe, come back really quick, make the rest. I see. Because I think I still only need... I, I don't even know anymore. I'm... 
I don't remember if I need one eye or two anymore because the way they changed everything, I can't. I can't remember. Let's see. It makes one. I needed an extra. <sighs> I think. Hold on. What is what does this say? For iron, how much do I need? It's two for a pickaxe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Of course. Of course it is. I gotta go back just for one ore. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Really? Go. I just need one. At least it gives me this again because it took so long to get back. Got it. Now I gotta go all the way back again. Go. Run! Okay. Two iron bars. Make a pickaxe. And this one also needs two. And I can upgrade the pickaxe. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, I needed to heat it up. to my tool belt. Hell yes. Good. Um, I'm quickly going to test how fast I can mine now and then put the arrowheads up for sale and that'll be the end of the video. I just wanted to break into the my, uh, iron category before I end the video. Because now I can get the iron hatchet that I wanted. Upgrade the ore box. And even get iron gear. That's after, well, whenever I do need it. Oh, am I? There you go. That's what I needed to mine with. Yeah, look at how fast that's mining. Heck yeah. That's awesome. That's amazing. Okay. Cool. I got four already. That's nice. Ooh, level up. Iron rocks doubling, double ore mining. Ooh, and better iron rock opportunities. Okay, cool. Very nice. Smithing. Oh yeah, I can open these too. Um, it's just giving me spirit shards. That's it? Okay. Odd. Can I cut this? No, I can't. 
I'm very curious. There are 10 each, yeah, but there's also a tax in the GEG, which is good. We need a tax in the GED to remove money from the game. How much is the Jade? 1,000? 30,000. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't tax it because it's not enough money, right? Or something like that? I don't even know. I just got over 100,000 coins in my bank now. In, in my pocket. Cool. That's awesome. <coughs> okay. Well. <coughs> sorry. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you again next time. Bye.